Muay Thai versus MMA. Now, I'm not going to go into which sport is better because I'm obviously going to be very, very biased as MMA is my sport and that is the one I chose. I have fought Muay Thai as well and hands down, MMA is the better sport for myself. I like it a lot more just because it's more realistic to how it is in a real life situation and it includes all disciplines. Personally, I get a little bit bored when I'm training one discipline alone for months and months on end. I just find it a little bit repetitive and I like mixing it up. That's why I like MMA. But MMA fighters, I'll be honest, not as hard as Muay Thai fighters. Now, I don't mean they can't beat them in a fight because if you put a Muay Thai fighter, you put an MMA fighter and they're at a similar standard, they're both competing at the very top, the MMA fighter is going to kick the Muay Thai fighter's ass in a proper fight where there's MMA rules or street rules, whatever you want to do it. But the MMA fight would obviously lose in the Muay Thai environment. But when it comes to what is the martial arts that's going to put you in a more capable mindset and more capable abilities within a street fight, definitely the MMA fighter is going to win. But when it comes to who's harder, I'm going to go with the Muay Thai guys because... You don't realise until you've had a few Muay Thai fights. But I've come out of MMA fights feeling pretty fresh. If I'm injured, I can avoid the injury and grapple. If I've got a bad leg, I can take him down and grapple and not really take much impact. And I've come out of five round the walls, striking, wrestling, mixing it up, smashing each other's head in. And I've been pretty fresh the day after. It just feels like I haven't had a fight. And when I've had Muay Thai fights, no matter if I win, if I lose, or even if I knock them out in the first round, I will always, always come out with bruised shins, bashed up ankles, and my body will be so achy. And the reason for that is, you're just kicking each other's shins. It's shin on shin, and it's literally taking one to give one. And there has never, ever, ever been a fight that I've had in Muay Thai that I've come out feeling injury-free. No bruises and feeling fresh the next day. And from my personal opinion, I believe that Muay Thai fighters, they're just harder. They just take more damage, they give more damage. And no matter what, you're going to come out the fight with bruises. And the Thais have got it down fairly well where they can sustain less damage and fight more often and I believe that's just how they spar over time but for me Muay Thai I believe made me pretty hard it made me be able to get in that scrappy mentality and walk through the pain whereas MMA some people don't know the feeling of smashing shins on shins completely time after time again because come straight into an MMA background but from my personal opinion I just believe Muay Thai fighters they're harder than MMA fighters I don't mean they're more capable of beating them up not one bit but when it comes to taking some damage and battering their shins yes they're harder and over time you get conditioned I went to a seminar imagine this is the Thai shin I literally knocked it like that and it made that sort of sound. My shin does not make that sound. After time and time again, they get conditioned and they just get used to the impact on their shins. But when you first start, it hurts. And tip of the day, tip of the day, don't kick a knee because they hurt a lot, a, a lot. So today's video, who's harder? MMA fighters or Muay Thai fighters, I'm going to go Muay Thai fighters. But if it came to an actual fight, who would win? MMA fighters. What is the better sport? MMA. And that is today's video. That's how we do things around here. Because we're built different. I'll see you in the next one. Bish, bash, bosh, pow!